Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Him and Georgie both. It's <laughs> the best news I've heard in ages. Can we get an amen, Padre? So what happens now? What do you mean, what happens now? It's over, done, finished. I ain't talking to you. Just cause Sal McConnell's dead, Lincoln, doesn't mean it's over. Now, what you did and the size of it all, you created a storm in this here city, and it's gonna take a long time for it to dissipate, if it ever does. With Marcano dead, New Bordeaux belongs to me. Ain't nobody left to stand in my way. <laughs> you, you can't be serious. The, the point of this wasn't to replace Marcano, it was to remove him. This city's done gone through enough. It doesn't need another you, South Marcano. You, this city? You've got to be fucking kidding me. This city is a cesspool. It's where people come to fuck and drink and get high. You watch your filthy mouth. That's what the city is, Padre. God damn it. Listen, I'd love to stay here and debate the merits of one crime boss over another, but I've got to split this keep. Bit of advice, though? The scumbags have been working to kill him. All of them. Bury them before they bury you, buddy. Oh. I'll be seeing you, Padre. Anything except the truth. You hear? Boss. A man's soul can only carry so much. His mind is on the verge of breaking. After Lincoln vanished, Vito Scaletta took over the city. I spit on Sal Marcano's grape one last time by actually doing what Marcano couldn't, finishing the casino. Now, two years later, Scaletta opened another casino, and then it was just an avalanche of development. Hotels, um, arenas, the new convention center. I mean, today, everyone knows this place as the Las Vegas of the South, but the whole damn thing was built on bodies Lincoln Clay left behind with blood money he and his lieutenants stole from the mob. And Vito? He still lives in that penthouse at the top of Marcano's casino, looking out over the city he owns. After Sam Arcano's death, Lincoln Clay disappeared. <laughs> the Bureau deprioritized the investigation after a few months, but uh, I keep an active file. In 1971, I tracked him to a California shipyard where he was working under an assumed name. By the time we got there, though, he was gone. Uh, the trail went cold, and by 77, 78, I figured he was dead. But then I got a report of someone matching his description working with the Colombians. Since then, uh, there's a new sighting of him every couple of years. 
Lincoln made it out to California. Worked at the shipyards for a few years. Met him a woman. Seemed like he was going to get married, but then it, it all came apart. Don't know why. And he started moving around. He went to Alaska, New York, South America. He even went back to Vietnam. Hmm. I, I still get postcards from time to time. You know, I think Lincoln wasn't able to uh, accept the world for what it is or his place in it. Someday, he's going to get tired of running or make a mistake, and I'll be waiting. I promise you that. Sal and Georgie are gone. And after all the shit we've been through, we run this city. So we finally gonna get our chance to make things right in this town. Bring a balance to things. Wasn't certain we'd ever actually get here. After all the bullshit, it's almost impossible for me to wrap my brain around the fact that we actually did it. You're a fucking saint, Lincoln. And I'm honored to know you. No, that's the kind of news you never get tired of hearing. It ain't personal. What in the fuck?
Sal and Georgie are gone. And after all the shit we've been through, we run this city. After all the bullshit, it's almost impossible for me to wrap my brain around the fact that we actually did it. You're a fucking saint, Lincoln. And I'm honored to know you. No, that's the kind of news you never get tired of hearing. So we finally gonna get our chance to make things right in this town. Bring a balance to things. Wasn't certain we'd ever actually get here. We're not here because of what I did, or because of what any of y'all did. We're here because we stood together. And as long as we stay strong, ain't no one ever gonna fuck with us. After he killed Sal Marcano, Lincoln Clay took over. But he wasn't content just to run the city. He expanded out across the South into Florida and even the Carolinas. There's so much money coming in, and he's been smart with it. He spreads it around, makes sure the right people get paid and stay paid. The city's favorite son, hmm? Yeah. Rebuilding the hollow, buying up Frisco Field, reopening the theme park, all that money and goodwill. He thinks it's made him untouchable, but no one is untouchable. He might have plastered his name across a few schools and hospitals, uh, made donations to a charity here and there, but nothing absolves him of his crimes. That's why I agreed to do this documentary. I want to shine a light on the real Lincoln Clay. Lincoln gave in to everything. Drugs, booze, prostitutes, you name it. He made a dollar. He was involved. Seeing him on the news, strutting around. Sometimes I, I think he should have died over at Sammy's with all the rest of them. That'd be uh, kind of a piece. Let me ask you something. Senator! Where were you when John Fitzgerald Kennedy was assassinated? I don't remember. At home, I believe. I don't remember. At home, I believe. Let me tell you where I was. A muddy hut in Vietnam. Slowly dismembering an old woman, cutting her apart bit by bit. And do you know why? Because her son was an NVA officer. And hurting her was the only way to make him talk. I don't understand what this has to do with... What he told with... us saved the lives of an entire platoon. That's 42 men. Men that lived another day because I was willing to take a saw to that old woman. Thank you, Mr. Donovan. I believe that... Sit down and sh shut the fuck up! I did a lot of terrible shit over there. In the name of this country. Shit that will haunt me for the rest of my life. But I did it because I believed in the fight. I believed what this nation stood for. So, to be sitting there ass deep in mud with that old woman scattered all around me, and hearing that the President of the United States had just been fucking murdered, well, I knew right then and there that I couldn't let that stand. That I would find a way to make it right no matter how long it took. What are you saying? I'm saying...